These are the oldest goalkeeper gloves in the world, and in today's video, we're going to be putting them to the test. A few weeks ago, I made a video testing the cheapest goalkeeper gloves in the world, and I thought it would be very interesting to test the oldest goalkeeper gloves I can find. Now, where would I find the oldest goalkeeper gloves in the world? Of course, eBay. So I went on eBay, typed in vintage goalkeeper gloves to see what I could find. Now, after searching for a while, I found this pair of goalkeeper gloves. They were by Roish, and Roish has been making goalkeeper gloves for a long time. After waiting for a few weeks, I finally received my package, but after looking closely on the gloves, it said bike gloves. So I sent a message to my dear friend Piotr, a glove collector from Poland, and he instantly said, well, these aren't real vintage goalkeeper gloves. So I asked him, what are these? He said, well, they're bike slash fitness gloves. Roish used to make them before they made goalkeeper gloves. Now, the real question is, where do I get some real antique gloves? And Piotr decided to help me out and sent me a few links of some real vintage goalkeeper gloves. Now Piotr had sent me a few links and eventually we found this pair. It was listed as Torwart Hanshua Vintage Gloves with Sepp Meyer 1968. And if you don't know him, Sepp Meyer is an old legendary German goalkeeper who played for Bayern München and the German national team. So I decided to buy these goalkeeper gloves and now all we had to do was wait. After another few weeks my package finally arrived and these were legit, the real vintage goalkeeper gloves from 1968. Now before goalkeeper gloves were even a thing, goalkeepers would use their bare hands in goal. So we're going to be using our bare hands, pairing them to the vintage goalkeeper gloves, comparing them to the new goalkeeper gloves that are currently on the market. And also, just for fun, we might just test out the Roish Biking gloves. Now to find out how good the grip is on each of these gloves, we're going to use the grip test. I'm going to hold out a ball in one hand and angle it down slowly. Now in editing, I can find out at which angle the ball would drop. First up, bare hands. Next up, the vintage Roish biking gloves. Next up, the actual vintage goalkeeper gloves from 1968. Last but not least, the actual goalkeeper gloves. Let's see how they do. Did grip now let's talk about comfort i have to say they're actually pretty comfortable they seem like they're kind of some racing gloves and the stuff that's here feels like the stuff that you put on a ping pong or a table tennis racket yeah they're actually pretty comfortable better than i expected so i'll give them seven out of ten so before they even had goalkeeper gloves goalkeepers didn't use gloves at all it was just bare hand goalkeeping you know i have to say they're pretty comfortable so 10 out of 10 all right next up we have the titan actual goalkeeper gloves these are so comfortable they're my go-to goalkeeper gloves when i play a game or when i have training you know they're soft to the hand very comfortable nine out of ten. Oh, oh no. so these are the Roish knockoff goalkeeper gloves. They're way too small, but they're actually pretty comfortable. They're really soft on the inside and they fit really nice in the hand. So I'm gonna give these an eight out of 10. And now it's time to move on to handling and grip. First section done, handling and grip, and these were actually surprisingly good. The grip felt great, and for handling, you know, getting a couple shots in the hands, they really felt good. The couple of layers of grip that there is, you know, the ping pong bat style stuff that there is on the glove, actually feel really good, and they do exactly what they have to do, which is grip the ball just enough so you can catch it. You know, technique is always the most important, but these definitely help. Let's see how they do in shot stopping. Mm -hmm.
All right, that was some shot stopping in the oldest goalkeeper gloves. They're surprisingly comfortable, and I have to say, most balls that I would want to hold on to, I actually did hold on to with these gloves. You know, goalkeepers using these back in the 70s and 80s, I don't really know which year, but in the end, it, it is all about your technique and how good you are as a goalkeeper, and gloves are supplemental to that, so they'll help you out, but if your technique isn't good and you generally aren't very good at goalkeeping, gloves won't make you surprisingly good all of a sudden. Definitely something to keep in mind for you guys. You can have the most expensive pair of gloves, but it won't help you if your technique and everything isn't right. All right, let's move on. All right, if this video gets 5K likes or more, I will be wearing these goalkeeper gloves in an actual football game. Let's go, 5K likes. Next up, we're going in goal, bare hands. Just to show you guys, you don't need amazing goalkeeper gloves to be a good goalkeeper. It's all about technique, power, stuff like that. So here we go. That was no gloves goalkeeping. As I said, you definitely don't need the most expensive goalkeeper gloves in the world to be a great goalkeeper. It all comes down to technique, power, and stuff like that. Keep that in mind, guys. All right, let's move on to the next pair. Next up, we have the fake vintage goalkeeper gloves, the Broich old school biking gloves. These had really zero grip. We're gonna see how they do with shot stopping, see if we can make a couple good saves with them. Let's see how we do. All right, those were the fake vintage Royce gloves. They really didn't feel too well. We were able to make a couple of good saves with them, but they're no goalkeeper gloves. They have no grip. But as I said before, guys, gloves really don't matter as much as you think. If you're a good goalkeeper and your technique is good, you can make do with anything, even if it is a fake vintage pair of biking gloves. <laughs> Next up, we're gonna be testing the new goalkeeper gloves, which are the Titan Rebel Whiteout, which is my go-to pair for training and matches. Let's see how they do. Now, as expected, the new goalkeeper gloves were the most comfortable and had the best grip out of all of them. And if I had to choose one pair that I would have to wear in all my matches from now on, it would be the new goalkeeper gloves any day of the week. All right, next thing I want to try just to test the grip is to see if I can pick up the ball with one hand. First up, we're going to go no glove, see how that goes. All right, as you can see, can pick it up with one hand. Grip is good with no gloves. Next up, goalkeeper gloves, the actual goalkeeper gloves. Let's see how it goes. Easy, not a problem. Next up, we have the Royce fake antique, or well, Royce biking gloves. Let's see how they do. It's just not working. Nah, there's just no way. Last but definitely not least, big hopes for the oldest goalkeeper gloves we have. Let's give this a try. Can we pick it up with one hand? Comment down below what you think. Can you pick it up with one hand, yes or no? No. <laughs> Well, that's just unfortunate, that's a shame. All right, so that was it for the world's oldest goalkeeper gloves. If you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.